couple of things I can do. I know this number. It's negative 5j. So if I want, I can reverse the direction of it, make it plus 5j. If I don't like negative values. If you look at there are only two nodes here. This is really node 1, v1. And this is node 2. That's it. V2. So you shouldn't have more than two equations by two unknowns. If you want, you can simplify this just a little bit, because right now it looks ugly. I can take this, change it to one angle zero, which is just one, or one angle zero. Now these two are connected in parallel, so it's the product over the sum. The product of these two over the sum of them. If I go to my calculator, I go 5 times a negative 10j divided by the sum of them. 5 times, oh, turn on here. 5 comma 0 times 0 comma negative 10 divided by the sum of them, which is 5 comma negative 10. The product over the sum, this times that over the sum of them. And my calculator said the answer to that is 4.47. I put it in, in polar mode, negative 26.6. Negative 26.6. I could have made a rectangular mode. It's no big deal. These two in parallel, the product over the sum. Again, that will be 0, comma, negative 5 times 0, comma, 10 divided by the sum of them, which is what? Uh, 0, comma, what's negative 5j plus 10j? 5j? And this is 10 angle negative 90. These two, again, in parallel, the product over the sum. Negative 0.5j. There we go. So what's this value? The product over the sum, 10 times 5, that's 50j. 0, comma, 50, divided by the sum of them, which is 10 comma 5. And that's 4.47 angle 63.4. Question, find V1, V2. V1, V2. We can assign current in any direction just like the previous one. The current in equals the current out at KVL. KCL, I'm sorry, at V1. KCL, the current in equals the current out. What's going in? One angle, zero, which is one. And what's leaving? I1 plus I sub 2. What's I sub 1? V1 minus nothing. 
4.47, negative 26.6. And the other one is going to be V1 minus V2. This is negative 10J. Or 10 angle negative 90. I can put 10 angle negative 90. My calculator could care less what I use here. It will do it for me. So what is 1 divided by that number? 1 divided by 4.47 angle negative 26.6. 1 equals 0.22. 437, which is 4, angle 26.6 V1, plus, what's 1 over that number? 1 divided by 10 angle negative 90, should be 0.1 angle 90, yep, it's 0.1 angle 90 times V1 minus V2. Clean it. So it's going to be this plus that for V1. Point two eight three angle forty five times V one minus. Point one angle ninety V two. I took these two numbers, add them for V one, and V two stayed the same. That's equation one. Now I gotta do the same thing for equation two or V two. No problem. Now let's look at equation two. That's going to come in when I look at KCL at node 2. What is going into that node? I sub 2 plus I sub 3. Oh, I sub 3 is leaving. I sub 2 equals the current leaving. I sub 3 plus what? Negative 0.5j. Or 5 angle 90 here. Same thing, 0.5 angle 90. So what's I sub 2? Again, V1 minus V2 over 10 angle negative 90 equals I sub 3, V2 minus nothing. And this is 0.5 angle negative 90. This is 0.1 angle 90 times V1 minus V2. Let's see what's 1 over that number. 1 divided by 4.47 angle. 63.4, 2.47, angle negative 63.4, times V2 plus 0.5, angle negative 90. Point one angle ninety V one
let's see, when I bring the V2 to this side, I'm going to have negative 0.1 angle 90. minus, oh, I wrote negative 1 instead of point 0.1, negative point 0.1 angle 90 minus 2.47 angle negative 63.4. becomes a plus 2.381 neg uh, angle 117.67, how about 0. 0.7? V2 equals 0. 0.5 angle negative 90. How can a negative number plus a negative number give you a positive value? Mathematically. Sure, because what you're looking at, 0.1 angle 90, negative. So you have a vector that looks like this, has a component like this. The other one, 2.47, negative 63. So you have a vector, negative 60, something like this. Yeah. 2.47, negative 6. Oh, I'm going to subtract it. Subtracted means it's going to be pointing in that direction, right? When you're subtracting vectors, what's the net result? It's this vector. So the angle here, notice the angle happens to be 117.7 in this quadrant, and the value of it is always positive. So that's why it looks like, oh, something is not right mathematically. No. Instead of putting a negative value here, they just adjusted the angle. They could have set a minus and gave you an angle in this direction. So that's why. So now we get two equations by two unknowns. That's EQ2. I have EQ1, EQ2. Right here. Can you see them both? Let me go to my calculator now. Clear, simultaneous, two equations. Okay, the first one, 0.283, angle 45. Next one, I got to be careful with that. I got to write negative, negative 0.1, angle 90 degrees. The answer is 1. Now the next one, 0.1 angle 90. The next one, 2.381 angle 117.7. And the answer is 0.5 angle negative 90. Solve it. It says V1 equals 3.45. I'll give you the angle in a second. V2 equals 0.327. Negative 46.3 degrees. 133.5. Point six degrees. So another problem using nodal analysis.